Good morning, new day and night, ladies and gentlemen. And today, um, I'm going to be doing something a little different. This is an audition for Cam Camosaurus. Camosaurus. I'm not sure how to pronounce that name. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm an idiot. Anyway, um, and this audition is for doing like storylines and stuff. And why am I doing this introduction with an LPS? Because I like LPS and I have a lot of them, so I thought I would. But I do have plenty of dinosaurs. Don't worry. So. Um, I'm not 100% sure what to do for this audition, so the gist of the story that I've gotten is that, uh, all the brands are against each other. I just watched the first episode. <laughs> I feel like an idiot. So, I have quite a few different brands, so I'm gonna grab a couple of them and just make a storyline for there. I didn't prepare this very well. I'm, I have no brain. I'm gonna go jump off this cliff now. Yes, Valerie. Let's let's go take on Collector. Let's go. Let's kill him. Let's kill them all. Steady, Valerie. We will fight Collector when the time comes. But, but we're stronger than them. We could kill them easily. Let's kill. Him. Let's kill him, boss. Let's kill. Him. We don't even know where their base is, and the last time we fought them. We lost. <laughs> Sir, there's a large Spinosaurus outside. He says he wants to speak with you. Did he say what his name was or what faction he's from? I believe his name is uh, Antonio and he refuses to say what allegiance he's from. He says he has a present for you. Philip. Do we have any Spinosauruses in our allegiance by the name of Antonio? Let's see. I believe we only have one Spinosaurus in our legion. And, uh, let's see. Antonio, uh, Alberta, Alberto. Ah, Antonio. Um, it says here there's only been, uh, three spies out to look for information on him. Uh, oh my. What is it? Uh, it says here that the first spy was killed, the second spy was killed, and the third spy was killed. So he's a murderer then, an enemy of the court. Uh, not quite, sire. It says here that the first one was killed by an angry Triceratops. Ahem, <clears throat> uh, the second one was, uh, trampled to death by a herd of sauropods, and the third one was carried off by a large dragonfly. Hmm. So what information do we have on him? Virtually none, sir. The only thing we know is that he's about 20 years old, male, and a Spinosaurus. That's pretty much it. Nobody's even been able to get close enough to even measure him. So, should I bring him in, burly murder him, what? Bring him in. Right away, sir. Here he is, sir. So, you're Antonio. Yes, sir. Hmm. Very interesting. I hear that you have a present for me. I believe you're going to like this present. I heard many stories of how a dinosaur, a Tyrannosaurus, took your arm and Miss, uh, what was it, Valerie's arm? Damn right, he took off my arm! <laughs> my arm! My arm! <laughs> Yikes. One moment. This should prove interesting. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, let go of me! As you wish. Is this the dinosaur that took your arms, my king and Miss Valerie? Uh, get off of me! 
Oh, oh, that's him. That's him. That's the that's the collected dinosaur who took off my arm. Let me at him, boss. Let me at him. Yep, that's him. That's the Tarbosaurus who took my arm. Get off! Hey, hold still, there, buddy. I don't want to have to kill you, you know. Fine, you can get up. Slowly. I said slowly. Okay, okay. Just, uh. yeah. So, what do you have to say for yourself? I found this disgusting varmint in a Carnegie bar. He couldn't stop bragging about he had taken off the arms of King Rick of Jurassic Park and Miss Valerie, the greatest warrior of the Jurassic Park army, besides the king himself, of course. At Carnegie Bar? I don't know if you know this, Antonio, but my arm and Valerie's arm were taken off in the battle between Jurassic Park and Collecta, not Carnegie. I am very aware of that, my good king, sir. Which is why I found it so interesting that I found him in a Carnegie bar. In fact, he is, in fact, a Carnegie Tyrannosaurus, or Tarbosaurus, whatever you want to call it. They're basically the same creature. I think you'll find Tarbosauruses and Tyrannosaurus are incredibly different. This is the Tarbosaur in my eyes. Because no Tyrannosaur would take off another Tyrannosaur's arm unless he did something so awful and so terrible to deserve it. And I have done no such thing. I only protect my people. <laughs> so, Marcus, would you like to tell me why you, a Carnegie Tyrannosaur, or Tarbosaurus, was in the Battle of Collecta and Jurassic Park. On the Collecta's side, no less. I thought your kinds were great enemies. I don't believe that's any of your business. I don't have to tell you anything. I want a lawyer. <laughs> what? What are you all laughing at? What? I can't have a lawyer. Where... Where's the justice for all dinosaurs? I'm the king. I am the judge. And I decide everything here. And I know for a fact that you took my arm and Valerie's. The only question I have is, why were you in that bar? Why were you in the battle? And if you're not going to tell me, you're going to have to go to the dungeon. Take him away, Steve. Gladly, sir. No, no, you can't take me. No, no, no. Come closer, Antonio. Yes, sir. Your Majesty, sir. I come to serve you. What do you mean, serve me? You're not Jurassic Park. For all I know, you could be Pablo, or Collecta, even. Maybe you're even Carnegie, and you betray your brethren. You must believe me when I say my allegiance is only to you, sir. For my people have abandoned me. They no longer need me. Someone has replaced me. You see, for many, many years, I was meant to be leader. I was leader for a short period of time. Of course, you wouldn't know who I belong to. But he was jealous, so he demanded that I'd be thrown out. And for years, no one would listen to him. But I don't know what happened. It seemed just for one moment that I had the love of all of our subjects. The next moment, they were kicking me out, telling me that I was a scoundrel. I don't understand why. That is why I come to you, great king, that I may serve you. That I may be one with your kind, your brand. I know that I am not Jurassic Park, but 
if you look at the shape of my sail, I do look similar to your Spinosaurus's. I beg of you that you will accept me into your ranks. I beg of you. And if I have not convinced you enough of my allegiance, I have one more thing. I found these in the nest of Mark. Thank you. Pine, come here. Yes, sir. Get my arms, or my arm, and Valerie's. Yes, sir. You may stay within our ranks, but remember this, Antonio. The day you even think about betraying me is the day you die. Got it? <clears throat> yes, sir. Good. And that's my audition. Whew, that was a lot of work. It is so hot out, even if it is fall. Sheesh. In case you're wondering, I actually don't know which company this guy belongs to. I don't think he's Pablo, but I don't know which one he is. So if someone could tell me what this Spinosaurus is from, I do not remember. I think he might be Schleich, but I don't know. So if someone could tell me, that would be great. Also, in case anybody's wondering, um, I would have set up props, but I just didn't really have time to. I do have a ton of props, so just I didn't have time to set it all up, so... I have props, I have sets, I can do all the things. And as you can see, I can do many voices. I can do high pitched girly voices. Or very low voices. And uh, I have quite a few dinosaurs. I have Jurassic Park. I've got, uh, I think this is science. And I have Schleich and, you know, all the others. So I can do a ton of characters and a ton of different brands and all that jazz. I don't think I have any collected. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. I have two collected dinosaurs at the moment. But mostly Jurassic Park and Schleich. So, that was my audition. I hope you like it, and goodbye.